Hi everyone, Dr. Lewis here. So what I'm going to be doing now is just a really quick um, overview of the library because I'm sure that some of you have probably never used the KSU library before and it's really easy to use. It's really like doing a Google search. So I just wanted to show you some of the features. So you just go to library.kennesaw.edu and you'll see this page pop up. And over on the left hand side, you have a couple of options. You have services. So some of these, like some of these aren't going to be relevant to you right now, but they do have study rooms in the actual library. Um, they do actually have personalized research help if you get to the point where you need that. They have information about the locations because there's one on the Kennesaw campus and then one on the Marietta campus. They have some information, so there's a staff directory where you can find librarians who are specifically like if you if you need someone to do research in biology, they'll have a librarian that specializes in science research. They also have hours as well as a contact us page where you can find where you can find them to contact them. Um, under useful links, again, this is uh, most important to you will probably be Interlibrary Loan and Gill Express. And both of those are if you want materials that aren't actually available physically at the library or online, they will actually borrow it from other libraries for you. So that might be relevant at some point. They also have a chat room and they are actually very fast responding to this. Um, there's also an email option if you don't want to do the chat that's just right down here. So those are kind of the main, the main kind of features just on the home page. Um, there's also a facts page where you can ask a question and they will answer you if it's not already been answered. Probably most relevant to us is this area here, which is the research tools. And the research tools, the main basic search that you're going to do is a super search. So that does a very broad review of everything you can possibly find um, related to our library. So you have what says here, books, articles, ebooks, videos. It'll basically bring up everything. <laughs> and you can also do keyword, but you can also do title or author if you do have a title or author. So like I've already searched like social media. So if you search social media, you'll come up with um, quite a few results actually. So you come up with about um, over 9 million results. So, and that's because it's a pretty, it's a pretty broad term. But so you'll see it brings up something they call research starter, which is some basic research topics and kind of general ideas of what you could do with the search term that you have. And then it'll bring up pretty much everything that could possibly be related to social media. So anything that's been written, books, articles, newspapers, pretty much everything, um, even like an encyclopedia entry. Um, so what you'll want to do is narrow this down. And there's a couple of ways that you can do that. First one is to do an advanced search and it lets you search more stuff. So instead of just social media, maybe you can say I'm interested in, uh, I don't know, music and social media. Let's see what that brings up. So, and that'll very much limit what you've come up with. So we already went down by about 8 million and you'll get more subjects that are related more to what you're interested in. So if you are doing music, they have like social media for musicians. There's another one, social media for music education. So it'll bring the more and the more specific your search terms, the better. There are other ways to limit though. So you want to look at this left hand side uh, and here you'll see limit two. If you do not have a lot of time, you want to limit it to full text. So if you don't limit it to full text, you will get options that they do not have immediate access to. 
And it's possible for them, again, as I said at the beginning, to borrow from other libraries. But if you have an assignment that's due in less than a week, you don't want to do that. <laughs> so like possibly for our final project, you might think about doing this. But for, for now, you can always limit to full text. If you want to get that peer-reviewed source, then you can choose this middle option here. And that will limit what you get to mostly peer-reviewed sources. So that is a good way to let the library do work for you. And you see doing that already dropped us down by another half million. So, or a little bit over that actually. And you'll get mostly topics now that are journal articles that have been peer reviewed. So you can also do uh, the publication date because right now it is bringing up everything from the very first date that they have anything related to social media and music to 2017. So somehow we have an 1876 publication of some sort that they have in the library. I actually kind of want to see what that is. But you can always narrow it down because you might not be interested in topics that were from the 1800s. So you can always narrow this down to like, let's say I'm really just interested in the last like about 10 years, more like 12, but the last decade or so, and that cuts you down again. So you might want to limit exactly how long your, or what your date range is. There's also like, if you just want academic journals, you can click on that and you will mostly want to focus on academic journals, uh, maybe magazines. You can also, there's lots of options. So there's subject matter, like maybe I'm just interested in culture, maybe I'm interested in education. So you can narrow it there. If you know publishers, you can do that. Um, they also have even more specific subject matters. Language, you will get text sources that are in completely different languages. So it's always, you know, you can go in there and click English. I mean, it's not, it's the very much the minority, but you still might want to click on that. So with this, we finally gotten down to about 200,000, but that's just an example of how you take, how you can kind of play with this search and get it down to a manageable number when you're trying to search something on this library and kind of the options that you have. Okay, so there's one other thing that I want to show you. And for this purpose, I'm just going to bring up a fresh browser page. And this is how to do a subject search. So you see down here, you have find a database, advanced search, and database by subject and type. If you click on this, you will see a page that brings up databases by subjects. Um, they also have information types, so if you're interested on just finding um, images and maps or multimedia or newspapers, you can find that over here. But we're going to focus on this databases by subject section. So with here, you can actually find very specific sources depending on what you're interested in. So let's say that you're really interested in music. That'll be our example it'll pull up music databases. So this will include very specific databases that just talk about music. And toward, when you scroll down a little bit, you'll get some that are more general. So like JSTOR and Project Muse aren't only music, like Project Muse is actually a really good arts and humanities one, but it brings up other materials other than just music. So the first one is usually the most relevant and then you can click on that and it'll bring up the database that is only for your specific topic. So like, let's see, social media. So what will usually happen when you do this is you'll see we only got 457 results. So you get smaller numbers. You don't get kind of the breadth that you get from the super search, but at the same time, you get usually, you'll get more specific, uh, more specific sources. So this is, you get less, but they're usually really on topic and really good sources. 
So you get really good peer-reviewed journals, really specific topics, really specific results. So think about when you do like a Google search and you get like a lot of results. That's what the super search is like. With the subject matter databases, it's much, much more focused. And both of those have their pros and cons. Um, I always do both because they both will bring uh, different, um, different possibilities for you. So, and you know, it's just, they have lots of, there's a music one, there's a nursing one, there's sociology, there's history, there's gender and women's studies, there's dance. Um, it's really, there's architecture, art and design. So there's lots of different kind of possibilities here. Uh, it seems like some of you are interested in criminal justice. So there's actually databases that are just for criminal justice. So you do want to at least think about giving this a chance with going to the database by subject and type. Okay, so I believe that that is about all I want to show you with the library. If you have any questions, let me know. If you're having problems researching, let me know, and we can definitely kind of research together. All right, so have a good day, and I'll talk to you soon.